Okay, as promised, we're going to pour some plates. So what I did was I took the uh, Makonki Zagar out of the autoclave. It was very hot. And what I did was I brought it over here into this little um, water bath. And I set the water bath to about 50. Auger will um, solidify at about 48. So it's been sitting in here for a little while. And that's going to be nice. And uh, I can pick it up, which is handy. You always take it and swirl it around a little bit. Make sure that you got all of the little auger swirls. Make sure it's all solidified or not solidified someplace or not forming little bits and chunks. Should all be liquid. But notice I can hold this. Okay, I'm not burning myself. When I was at your age, get off my lawn, whippersnapper. They told us you'll know the auger is ready to pour when you can put it to your cheek and not burn yourself. Um, we never took them seriously. Um, Anyway, so this is ready to pour. And you can't wait too long because it will start to solidify. So what you need to do is set up your plates. I stack these guys um, in stacks of about five because I got big hands. Um, my wife told me that when I was telling you about opening and closing lids, that's great if you got hands the size of Sasquatch. Some people might not be able to do that because of that. But anyway, when I pour plates, I stack them at about five deep, and then I just pour them individually one after the other. Now, we need to use sterile technique, and so we're gonna light a flame, which I need a striker for, which, wouldn't you know it, is over on the other bench. <laughs> So let's fire this thing up. We got flame. Adjust it for some real fire. Okay, set these guys up. And I'm going to stop talking, luckily for you, but I'm going to unloosen this a little bit, but not all the way, so I can just pick this off easily and quickly. And you're gonna see me flame the lip of this glass through the flame and then pour my plates. And then when I go to the next layer of plates, I'll flame it again. This is all to try to keep things nice and sterile and keep things from going in and contaminating. So here we go. Oh no, I got bubbles. Whatever shall I do? That's an old microbiologist trick, okay? Now, you just let these babies solidify on the bench. Put some water in this thing before it solidifies. And, um, you don't want to pour this down the sink because it'll solidify in the drain and that's a problem ask me how i know and then of course you clean up your bench where you spilled little bits of everything your mother does not live here um in any event um, um that's how you pour plates and these will take probably 20 minutes and then they'll be solidified but again i personally wouldn't use these suckers till tomorrow i'm just going to leave them on this bench in fact um, over the weekend and I'll come back on Monday or so and start using them, okay? So that is how you pour plates.